Hello, I'm Leanne Spar. In this section, we will be talking about the basics of simple interest. The topics we will be covering are, we will solve for simple interest, we will calculate maturity value, we will find the number of days from one date to another, we will find exact and ordinary interest, we will define the basic terms used with notes, and we will find the due date of a note. Let's begin by defining simple interest and doing a problem involving simple interest and maturity value. Simple interest is when interest is charged on the entire principal. Interest is equal to principal times rate times time, where the principal is the loan amount, the rate is the interest rate, and time is the length of the loan in years. The maturity value is equal to principal plus interest. Now let's look at this example. Find the simple interest and the maturity value to the nearest cent on $10,200 at 9.5% for 10 months. So the interest will be principal times rate times time, which is $10,200 times 9.5% .095 for 10 months. Time always has to be in years. So 10 months is 10 twelfths of a year. So that interest is to the nearest cent, $807.50. The maturity value, you will remember, is principal plus interest. So the maturity value will be $10,200 plus $807.50, which gives us $11,000. Seven dollars and fifty cents. Now let's look at finding the number of days from one date to another. We want to find the number of days from May 22nd to August 30th. In order to do that, we're going to consult our table and we're going to see that May 22nd is day number 100. 42 of the year. And we're going to see that August 30th is day number 242 in the year. So May 22nd is day 142. August 30th is day 242. So the number of days between these two dates is 100 days. Now we're going to define exact and ordinary interest and we're going to do a problem using exact and ordinary interest. Exact interest uses 365 days in the year whereas ordinary interest uses 360 day years. Ordinary interest produces more interest as we shall see. The exact interest here is principal times the rate times the time. And exact interest, we use a 365-day year. So exact interest here is $1,004.63. Ordinary interest uses a 360-day year, so interest is principal times the rate times the time. That's 82 days out of a 360-day year. Ordinary interest is $1,018.59. Now let's define a promissory note and the terms involved in promissory notes and let's do a problem involving promissory notes. A promissory note is a legal document in which one person agrees to pay a certain amount of money to another person on a specific date. The payer is the borrower. The payee is the person who loaned the money. The term is the length of the time until the note is due. The face value is the amount borrowed. 
The maturity value is the face value plus all of the interest, which is the amount due at maturity. And the maturity date is the date that the loan must be paid with interest. Now let's find the due date, interest, and maturity value, assuming ordinary interest, with this note. The note was made on November 10th. The face value was $6,300. The term of the loan was 180 days and the rate 9 and 1 fourth percent. So first thing we need to do is find the due date. So the due date is November 10th plus 180 days, which we can do using our table, and we find that due date is May 9th. The interest, of course, will be principal times rate times time, using ordinary interest, which is 200 $91.38 and the maturity value is the principal plus the interest which is $6,591.38. In this section, we have discussed simple interest. Interest affects most of us in some way, and interest is certainly an integral part of business. So it's now time for you to go and calculate interest on some of these loans.